When assessing a suspected rotator cuff injury, the therapist may ask questions about the current injury, previous injuries and the patient's medical history. They will then observe the shoulder joint as well as the posture of the whole upper body. Following this, they will often look at the range of motion of the shoulder, asking the patient to move the shoulder themselves and then to relax as the therapist moves the shoulder. Resisted muscle tests may be used to determine painful movements and weaknesses and therefore which muscles may be involved. In rotator cuff injuries, it is commonly the rotation movements at the shoulder which may be painful and weak, although abduction, where the arm is lifted out to the side, may be painful as well. The empty can test is used to determine if the supraspinatus tendon may be involved. The therapist provides resistance as the patient tries to lift the arm in an internally rotated position. Pain is a positive result. Nears test is used in cases of a suspected impingement to the supraspinatus tendon. With the arm rotated internally and at a 45 degree angle to the body, the therapist lifts the arm up above the head. Pain is a positive result.